Hey, how are you? Hello? Do you hear me? We're sorry. You have You're all idiots down here! In the GTA 3D universe, Vice City was the place to be in the 80s. It was also the place to be in Florida, at least as much as the game makes the rest of Florida out to be. Speaking of which, I came to the realization of something about a week ago and figured I'd make a tweet about it. And then I figured I'd make a video about it as well because I don't think many of you will have seen this yet. If you take into consideration the fact that the elusive Florida man is all over the news for doing something usually outlandish or crazy, and how in GTA Vice City you're playing as a guy doing outlandish and crazy things in a city in Florida, you know, you see where I'm going with this, right? But if you can't, let me just spell it out for you. Tommy Versetti is a Florida man, and GTA Vice City is Florida Man the Game. And if you think about it, every mission in the game could easily become a Florida Man headline. It all starts after the former Liberty Man arrives officially at the airport and quite obviously becomes a Florida resident because, you know, you never leave. Florida Man survives ambushed drug deal. Florida Man murders chef over cell phone. Florida Man starts a riot at a delivery company. Florida Man bombs a building using an RC helicopter. Florida Man murders a drug dealer with a chainsaw in broad daylight. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Florida Man hijacks a military tank off the street. Florida Man impersonates police officer, bombs mall. Okay, that's maybe not every mission, but if you can think of others that would work, feel free to let me know. And besides the main story, you still have the side activities, asset missions, and even properties themselves that would qualify as a Florida Man headline. Florida Man unknowingly buys cocaine distributing ice cream factory. Florida Man delivers pizzas despite being a millionaire. Florida Man spends $8,000 on a burned-out corrugated metal shack to live in. Okay, I think I've got that out of the way now. I know, why did you make this video? Well, I found it to be pretty funny looking back on it. Because when Vice City came out, I don't think Florida Man was really a thing. It's kind of strange on its own, too, since it's not like Florida is the only state where crazy stuff happens. I feel like you could just as easily have an Illinois man, California man, Ohio man. Florida's the odd one out that everyone decided to pick on, unfortunately. I don't know how any Floridian viewers might feel about the memes, and while I haven't been to your state since I was little, I'm sure it's still a nice place. I've always wanted to go to Key West. One more thing I'd like to mention. Someone who left a comment in my preview for this video pointed out that they're visiting Florida currently, and that a game featuring not just Vice City or South Florida, but also Central Florida, or maybe even the rest of the state, would be pretty cool. They also pointed out that there could even be a dark story based there, similar to GTA 4, and I agree. I was watching a movie recently called The Florida Project, starring Willem Dafoe, and it was all about how there was a ton of people living in absolute poverty at a hotel in Orlando, not far from the place that calls itself the happiest place on Earth. The movie's material itself wouldn't lend itself very well to GTA, since the points of view that we saw were from a young mother, her daughter, and the hotel manager, but then I realized something. Just because a story is set in sunny Florida doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a happy-go-lucky or feel-good story, or something that comes off as almost too comedic. This is why I think that if the next GTA is going to be set in Florida in the modern day, if it's going to be another story about the drug trade and something that's essentially a throwback to Miami Vice and Scarface once again, I would hope that we see a story that's at least got a lot of serious undertones to it, not something that's too stylized and overloaded with 80s nostalgia. I kind of wonder if maybe this is part of why some people didn't like the Miami Vice movie from 2006. Maybe some people felt that the whole concept was just a little too 80s. I don't know. Well, that and I don't know what the hell was going on with Crockett's hair and uh, what's up with that mustache? Crockett never had a mustache? What the? But for a game set nowadays in modern day Florida, a good writer could easily make a seriously dark and depressing game set in a place known for its sunshine. And honestly, it's the type of story that I'd personally rather see out of the game. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on this. If you think Florida is the perfect setting for GTA, let me know.